What's good, family? It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. Listen, before we get into this, today's episode is going to be called September Blues. I know we ain't October, but the reason why I'm going to show you September, because I want to give you some opportunities because October is going to be a pivotal moment for us, and I want you to get some money. But before we get into this video, I want you to like, I want you to subscribe, I want you to share this, man. We got to get the YouTube numbers back up, and also let me say something. That is not me in the chat in any of my pages telling you about Bitcoin or telling you to DM me or talking to you or giving you a WhatsApp number. That ain't me. That's a scam. Don't fall for it. All right, let's get to it. I need to give you a body of work so you can understand. Let me go to trap so he can teach me. Let me go to trap so I can understand. The reason why we can't effectively dominate the market is because we don't truly understand what's going on in the market. And we don't understand what's going on in the market So the name of this episode, we're going to talk about the September blues. Now, the reason why this is important, listen, I know last month was crazy. A lot of us truly, you know, we, we got hit in the face. But I'm going to be real with y'all. I've always told my people, August, September, we're going to sit on the sideline. We're going to chill um, because those are the two worst months in the market. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that down historically, but then I'm going to show you. Well, October can bear for us, right? So, first and foremost, I'm going to be admit that I made a play. I got hit with some fool's goal in September. But I done bounced back. Ah, ah, ah. We done doubled up on that. You feel me? So, here's what I want to talk about, the September blues. So, we're going to talk about the big seven, right? We're going to talk about Meta. Meta was the only one out of the big seven, that did 0.02% in September. So it still averaged out. It was like, I, right. you know, it was fighting. Tesla down 2.44% in September. Google took a hit September, but Z minus 3.62%. Amazon minus 7% September. Apple took almost a 10% hit in September. We talking nine and three quarter percent L. And then we're going to talk about NVIDIA took a 10% hit in September. And then Netflix took a 15, almost 16% hit in September. Now, I want to talk about some of those right quick. And I want to kind of look at what's going on. So typically, we understand that it's a sell-off. In September, August is the second worst month in the market. September is the first worst month in the market. So we, what I want us to do moving forward when we see August and September, for the month of August, what I need us to do is create a, I want you to create a watch list in August. I want you to create a watch list in August of at least 10 companies. And that's even if you own them already, right? Because what we typically understand what's going to happen is they're going to go on sale. So what I need you to do in this watch list, I need you to put August 1st, I need you to put August, and then I need you to put the ticker, and then I need you to put the price. I need you to do that. So I need you to put the month, the ticker, and the price. And then what I want you to do is, at the end of every week, I want you to log it. At the end of every week, I want you to log it. And the reason why I need you to log it is so you can understand how it's moving. But what I want us to do is I want us to, I want us to be bold enough not to jump. I want us to be bold enough to not to jump because typically this is historically. Now, that's saying like out of 10 years, seven of them have been bad, right? So we, what we ain't got to do is buck the trend. All I need us to do is say, all right, I'm going to set my mind that Trap said we not going to budge in August or September. I don't even care if the one I like go on sale. Now, I'm, I'm going to say that, but I'm going to say that in, there's a, there, it's three-parted. Because we never know how deep it's going to fall, I want us to set price points. Because I don't want you to buy, I don't want you to be, I don't want you to run out of dip. I don't want you to run out of chip 
for your dip. There we go. <laughs> I don't want you to run out of chip for your dip. So what I want you to do is when you write down your 10 companies, after you've done the fundamental research, shameless plug, and you're taking the Wall Street Trapping course, shameless plug, you take the Wall Street Trapping course, you already know how to research these companies. What I want you to do is I want you to, whatever one is in your top three, I want you to highlight them, right? The ones that you want the best. Top three, I want you to highlight them because these are the ones you're going to look for first. Now, let's say one of these other ones come in position, then we got to snatch it. We ain't really tripping. You feel me? All right, let's go back a little bit. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you to learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lacked the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to take you from panic to encouragement. There's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travels Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two hour class we do on Sunday or whether it's just a book club, everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy Wall Street Traveler. See you in the trap. So typically what I know is this. This is what we do understand. In August of 22, August, the S&P was minus 4%. September, the S&P was minus 9%. Now, this is a big correction right here. 9% is big. 9% has you looking like, bruh, I'm getting out of the market. 9% in the S&P, you probably ready to throw the whole portfolio away. We don't want you to do that. Now, watch this. August this year, 2023, the S&P was minus 1.5. In August and September, it was minus 4.8 at the end. At the end of September, 4.8. So that means... It probably got deeper than that. At one point, it was down 7% this year. But it's going to fluctuate, right? Now, watch this. The worst August of 1974, 12%. 12%. Now, watch this. Here's the dope part about why I need you to understand what we're talking about. In 2022, October gave us 8%. And then I, I went deeper. I said, all right, I need to know a little more. And 2021, October gave us almost 7%. As of right now, as of right now, from, from the low of September to today's date, the S&P is up 3.6%. So from the lowest date in October, I mean from the lowest date in September, to the day I shot this video in October, the S&P is up 3%, which tells us October is a re-rock month. That's what that tells us. It tells us typically October, we can bounce back. So that's why this is important. Listen, this game right here. This game right here, I like to dissect the market and let y'all see it. What I don't want you to do is try to load up on the 10. I don't want you to try to do that. I don't want you to try to do that. I want you to pick three out of the 10 and go crazy with. Because if you load up on the 10, you spread yourself too thin. If you just pick three of them and be like, yo, I'm these the three. These the best three financially, but these are also the best three deals I got. So because they in the 10, that's the 10 you like the best. But then I want you to see which one gives you the best discount. Because typically, October is a bounce back month. Now, that's, I want to bring you to this right quick. 
Out of all three of these, I circled Netflix. The reason why I circled Netflix was because unlike these three, they didn't have nothing going on. This is important. At the time with Netflix, also there was a writer's strike that's affecting what's going on right here. Right now, they ain't, I think they're coming up with a deal or they just made a deal, but you got to think until it is concrete, we can buy this, but these represent better options. Why? Because there's nothing going on in the environment that can keep these from dragging. See, there's still, there's still an event going on that can make this drag lower. So we don't want to be a part of this until we understand the event is clear. So what I would say is, if there's an event going on, once the event is clear, we buy. Or, or you will have to keep legging into it. You have to keep legging into it. Now, I ain't mad at you for legging into it, but what I would rather you do is watch it, see what's going on, and once the event clear, you dig in. Because these other ones will already be in return. They already in the green already. They already done turned around. So the idea for what, I want, what this is all about is the September blues. I want us to understand that August and September are crazy months, but also let's go even a little further. Let me say something right here. If you're a person in the options game, September is the best time for you to do your long-dated options on great companies. You know why? Because just like buying whole, you can get the options not at an amazing discount because there's so much fear in the market. When there's fear in the market, the options become extremely cheap because people are doing what? Selling. So September is also a great time for you next year to find a great company, load up on it. You're going to endure a little pain for maybe a week or two. I add another leg to it. Stress that joker out like seven months. Mm -hmm. It's going to turn up for you. Look, man, it's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. And I just wanted to break some game down tip for you about the September blues. We call it October the shake back. Listen, man, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, man. It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. I love y'all. Salute. Make sure y'all check out Trapping Tuesdays each and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's available on all podcast platforms. We trapping.